San Diego. Of course it's nice in San Diego, James. <laughs> you guys, this is one of my favorite calls that we get to do um, every month because this is our leadership call. And we have such incredible talent in the field. There's so many people that could charge for their amazing speaking abilities. So this is one of my favorite calls. Before we get to tonight's speakers, I do want to just run through a couple announcements really quick while I have you here. Um, I want to do a reminder of the promotions this month and then also some deadlines that are coming up. So first off, let's take a look at the first slide. Okay, um, I have already, you know, last uh, last Monday, I think it was, we had Dr. Crystal on talking about the True Age Therapy Gel. Oh my gosh, this is taken off. You guys are wanting to learn more about it. Uh, sales are already incredible for this product. Um, you're going to have 25% off through the end of the month. And then we have our all natural body care line, shampoo, conditioner, and body wash as a set for 20% off, also available until the end of the month. Now, if you want to learn more about the True Age Therapy Gel and all of the clinical studies behind how you can uh, make your skin clinically look younger by the AGEs, which is uh, advanced glycation end product. And if you want to know what that is, basically it's all the glucose in your skin that makes us all wrinkly. So Dr. Crystal's going to do our shop live on Wednesday at one o'clock PM mountain time. And you can learn all about it and go in, in deep to some of the, the questions that you might have. And then I also want to remind everybody that we, uh, just so you know, we sold out of our first round of tickets for Orlando PXP. We have opened it up. We were able to get some extra room. Europe has also sold out of their event. Um, they're trying to get extra room. So extra space is not always guaranteed, but we were able to get some, some more seating. I would not wait too long. This is our second tiered pricing. As we get closer to the event, the prices are going to go up or we just won't have any space at all. So make sure that you take advantage of this at Orlando, September 20th through the 22nd. And a quick reminder, um, we have launched our Ultimate in eight. You have an opportunity to go Ultimate in your first eight Fridays rather than your first four Fridays. You can download the PDF on social media. I'm not sure if it's on the share app yet, but as we're talking, Alondra can drop it in the chat as well. Um, there are two different ultimate promos going on right now. Um, so we've put them together into one PDF. If you started or joined after April 1st, the ultimate in eight is the one that you will do. If you join before April 30th, then spring into ultimate is the promotion that will apply to you. Okay, and you guys, I, we are getting closer to the Bahamas. We are going next month. I don't know about you, but I am getting FOMO from seeing everybody posting from Tahiti. I, I was teasing uh, Andrews and Tammy today that I I, I felt almost was tempted to send them uh, pictures of the snowstorm, uh, but uh, I was already feeling jealous, so I didn't think that would help. I didn't think that would make them jealous, right, to see all that snow, um, but we are down to the wire, guys. Um, April 12th is the last day that we can accept anyone to attend this trip. We have opened the options now to cash options. You can still do half cash, half points. If you want to do full cash, it is $2,500 per person. This does exclude the airfare, and that is with a shared room. So if you and a partner or you and a spouse want to go, it would be $5,000 for the room. And then if it, you would just take care of your own airfare. If you're interested in doing that, you will need to call into customer support. Just let them know that you'd like to uh, take advantage of the cash offer for the Bahamas trip. And they will get you all taken care of. And if you have points, it is not too late. However, 
we were reserving it until the fifth. Only people with points could redeem. So now it is open to everybody. So it is first come, first serve, regardless of whether you're using points or cash. So April 12th is the very, very last day. So I'm super excited to hang out with you guys in the Bahamas. All right, tonight um, I want to give everybody a reminder, give you a couple seconds to take a screenshot. Every Monday we meet here. You guys know we get to see each other's smiling faces. Monday is our kickoff call for the month. The second Monday is our leadership training. Then we have our update call. The last call of the month is reserved for our recognition call, and that is combined with U.S. and Canada. So make sure you take a screenshot of that, and we love seeing you every Monday night. All right. Now, I am so excited to introduce our speakers for tonight. When we talk about servant leadership, this was the couple that popped into my mind. You know, there are different types of leaders. There are people that uh, want to gain followers. And then there are other leaders that want to help others and help build leaders. Andrews and Tammy are that kind of servant leaders. They lead with love if you want to be inspired and hyped up, just get on the phone with them. They hype me up today, I will tell you. They, you walk in the room with them and you can just feel their, their love. Um, amazing speakers. You guys are blessed to hear from them tonight. And we're so super excited because they're our newest officers. So everybody, congratulations in the chat. And I'm going to turn the time over to... Andrews and Tammy. Thank you, Christine. Hold on. Can y'all hear us okay, Christine? Yeah, we can. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Thank you, Christine. You are so sweet. You make us feel like, you know, uh, you know how when it, when a student comes to class and uh, there's a new new school and then you got that one person that's like, oh, come on over, you know. That teacher's pet. Right, exactly. <laughs> this, this is how you make us feel. So thank you so much. It's amazing to be here tonight. And we are so honored to be a part of Partner Co. And we just love the, the energy here. We just love the people here. And we are so excited to dive into what we're talking about today yeah. because we coming from our heart today, and Absolutely. we were just so honored that we were asked to share from our heart today. So we got seven points. Well, before we do that, we do have seven points, but we have Alondra. Alondra has to show this picture. Okay. So we have, <laughs> y'all, we have this picture of what we believe to be true servant leadership. When we were in uh, Panama City with uh, our other partner called family at that event, I, I took several, I'm, I'm going to sit back and I'm an observer and I kind of look at everything. This picture, along with several other pictures, I called Christine and Tammy. They were, can y'all see her leg up? You know, <laughs> do y'all see her leg up? This is, see, your leg don't go up. See, I don't know if y'all know this, okay? But your leg don't go up unless your heart is really in it. Aww. Okay. So when I saw that leg go up, I said, okay, I got to. Let me capture this moment because this is really uh, this is really the definition of servant leadership, because Christine, uh, I don't know if everybody knows that she does so much more than we probably can ever fathom. Right. But on top of that, what makes her an amazing servant leader, Christine doesn't want anyone to feel left out. And that right there. And that's why I thank you, Alondra. That's right. why I wanted to open up with this picture because Christine really is the one that made us really feel welcome uh, right. when it came to being a part of Partner Co. So Christine, yeah. we honor you so much. You are a chief servant leader. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you guys. That is so meaningful. And, and uh, you all make it so easy to love. And so if, everyone in the chat, if you've not had a chance to meet this couple, Check them out on social media. You just be ready to, to be loved. So thank you so much for sharing that. You are so welcome. Okay. So we, we, we're going to dive on in because, you know, we are 
really about timing. We really respect time. So we have seven points tonight. And the first uh, point that we're going to talk about is the servant's leader. Okay. So before we did that. Okay, go ahead. Let me do this. <laughs> Y'all. Now listen, this, my, I want to say this. My, my husband is a pastor. This is our love so language. This is, right. So this is how we roll. <laughs> so this is our love language, right? So I'm going to forget something and she's going to remind me and vice versa. Right. So when we looked at um, servant leader, um, that's such a heavy topic. And um, thinking about being a servant leader, it comes with a lot of pain. It comes with a lot of rejection. Uh, sometimes it comes with a lot of loneliness. Um, it comes with a lot of jealousy from a lot of other people. It comes with a it, it comes with a lot. So when Tammy and I, when we were discussing this, and Tammy and I, we were like, okay, so we are pastors, and not only are we pastors, we have three we have three buildings that we own as far as building suites. So we rent mm -hmm. out building suites for people who are entrepreneurs, right? And we have a total of fifty of those suites. But we have been so hurt, and we have been so. It's a, we have been through a lot. Damaged. Da that's a good word. Yes. We have been so damaged. So when we talk about this, I want to begin with the definition of um, servant and leader. So um, a ser I wrote it down, y'all, because I'm I'm going to forget it. So I'm going to look we down. Write everything I, down. I write everything down. I don't want it to leave. So a servant, uh, a servant is someone who puts the needs of other people before him or herself. Okay. That's number one. Um, a lot of people like to say that they serve, but they don't have the desire or they don't have the core belief to put other people before themselves. You cannot be a servant if you are not willing to put yourself last. OK, and I know a lot of times we rah, rah, rah. I'm going to be first. But Christine is a servant. I knew that when I met her. She's a servant. All right. So a servant is a person who is willing. You know, you don't. have to but your heart says put somebody else's needs now a leader in which i want to i want to make sure i say this because a lot of times uh people think leaders are people who work the hardest that's not true okay it's not true a leader is not the person that works the hardest a leader is the person that serves the hardest you may want okay. to write that down okay a leader because because a lot of people can work hard sometimes you know, people have great work ethics. They can come into business and they can shoot way to the top. And what we do is we'll say, oh, my God, that person is a leader. Right. And we'll put them in a position of leadership. We did it with our church. Mm -hmm. We had somebody to come in and they came in and they just start working real hard. And we says, oh, my God, this person is a leader. Right. And we put that person in a leadership position, not knowing that person does not really love people. Right. So what happens, you put a person in a position that works hard, but doesn't understand people, you get what? You're going to get disaster. Right. right. So a leader, a true leader, has the ability to bring others together, right? Impacting them in such a way that they begin to feel what the leader feels. Mm -hmm. And they begin to see what the leader sees. So when you see a true leader, they don't have to pound nobody over the head. They don't have to talk crazy or beat anybody. They don't have to, you know, they don't have to do things that are not right. A true leader will lead with love. Right. And a true leader will lead with kindness. Right. And a that type of leader, people will want to follow. And with, and with passion. Absolutely, with passion. A true leader can step in the room and, and begin to uh, uh, impact people in such a way that people will come after the meeting and touch that person and say, okay, tell me what you're doing, where I want to go, where you go. That's a true leader. So we don't have to beat anybody over the head or we don't have to try all these different tricks. We don't have to pull the whip out. We don't have to peel the whip out and make somebody... <laughs> The, everybody, you know, we, we are in the we are in the people business. So our right. goal is to draw. We're in the drawing business, yes. right? All of us have a gift. So we need to find out what is your drawing power? You know, what do you have that's going to draw people to you instead of you're having to do all these other things to try to make them stay with you, right? I'm sorry, Lady Tammy. Now you can go with the seven um, 
the things you had. Awesome. And I love it when he just comes out like that because it's so powerful. <laughs> I live with it. So we have seven tips here tonight. And so the, the number one is what I wrote it down is servant leader must have a core heart for helping the people. Absolutely. So Absolutely. let's talk about that. So as we mentioned before, um, you really can't make a leader. Right. Um, a lot of times we try to train leaders, but real leaders have a core heart for leadership. Matter, as a matter of fact, they're not even thinking about being at the top. That's not their agenda. They didn't even come in to win. They came in with the mindset, one mindset only, and they said to themselves, how many people can I help? That's your true leader. How many people can I help? How many people can I impact? How many lives can I change? When you meet people in this business, right? And they tell you, hey, I can sell so many Noni bottles. I can sell the skinny drops till there are no more skinny drops. I'm going to sell so many Nonis until there are no more Noni trees, right? That's a good worker. That's good. But when you get somebody that comes in and say, hey, I really want to change people's lives. I really want to impact many people's lives. They're right there. There you have a leader. So a servant leader is a person to their core heart. They're thinking about how many people I can yeah. help. Right. right. And the second one, servant leader must surrender control to trust. I love that. You want to. No, I, 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 I want you to hear that one again. Say it slow, Tammy. A servant leader. Mm. OK. Must surrender. Surrender. Control. Mm. To trust. Y'all let <laughs> it's hard to trust somebody, right? It's so hard to trust individuals, especially if you've been wounded and hurt. So you got to train your your mind to to learn how to uh let go mm. and to begin to trust. And that's a hard thing to do when you've been broken and wounded. So you got to get you have to find deep down inside of yourself, how in the world can I find it the next level to Come go on, to the Tammy. next level so I can reach that 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 shining the shining star where i can be able to trust again right mm. it's hard to it's, hard. It's, it's so hard and so as a servant leader you have to um you have to surrender control I, when, we, when we were talking about this i said well surrender control and tell me like well but it's the truth we have to surrender to the person that you are under you have to trust somebody again. And it's hard. And it's hard. I know a lot of people that came over to Partner Coach and they were like, man, I'm never, I've been in, uh, I've been in this industry before. And I was I'm never my heart broken. My heart, I had the worst leaders right. in the world. They made me wash their cars. They made me clean their dishes. They made me, you know, all of us have these stories, right? But, you know, when you recognize that as a servant leader, the first thing is servant. So that means that you must come under. And a lot of us don't like to come under because we look at coming under as somebody stepping on us. But that's not that's not what that means. It means to surrender control, meaning I'm not going to challenge you every time you say something. Right. I'm going to believe you. When Greg and Dr. Lanika called us and, you know, we were like, and they were like, hey, we got something. And I was like, man, I'm so I hope they didn't have nothing. You know, I didn't want them to have nothing. They were like, we got something. And I was telling Lady Tammy, man, I wish they didn't have because I didn't want to do it anymore. Right. Right. And Tammy was like, well, what is it? And Dr. Lanika was like, have y'all heard of Noni? And that's what she did. She jumped up and ran around and brought her little Noni cup. And again, because I had been in Noni. Uh, 20 years ago. So right. I knew exactly what it was all about. So we were like, so we, we've, we've have a relationship with Greg and Dr. Lanika. We surrendered trust to them before. Yes. They never hurt us. Right. They never led us astray. They never made us do something that they would mm -hmm. not do. So as a servant leader, it was so easy to surrender that control. As a matter of fact, when we stayed, we at can see the light. Absolutely. We, right. <laughs> we, when we stayed at their home, you know, we we saw what kind of leaders they were. Right. They work hard. They look good, but they work really hard. And we saw that. Right. So it was easy to surrender control. Number three, a servant is a professional. Absolutely. Right. You got to be very, very professional. You got to walk with integrity. Absolutely. Integrity is everything. 
and honor. You got to make sure that you are represented correctly. Why? Because you are a professional, not just in this industry, but with your own personality. I mean, whoever you are, you want to make sure that people respect you. That Absolutely. You want to make sure that people can hear you. You want to make sure that people can understand you without you uh, looking unprofessional. Right. It's very and then, and then on top of that, I was going to say, as a professional, you do want to know how to separate your feelings from the assignment. That's very important. And that's what a professional is, a person that knows how to separate their feelings from the assignment. We have work to do. Right. So you may be angry. You may be upset. Yeah, your your upline may not have called you in three weeks. Yeah, you probably don't got you probably didn't get your two people yet. And your team is not growing. So you're mad at every time somebody goes to the next rank, instead of you celebrating them, you are spitting out nails, right? You have to learn how to separate that. You got to separate the way you feel from the assignment. Because if you if you allow your assignment to become your feelings, you're never going to be successful. Right. So we have to maintain professionalism, right? Right. And number four, servant leader understands that when times get hard, they were created on purpose for Ooh, a purpose. I love that. For a purpose. Created on purpose for, for a, purpose. a purpose. So when times get hard and they are going to get hard, some of you all are going to experience moments of jealousy. You're going to experience things in your business that you're going to be disappointed with. But we want you to understand that you were created on purpose for a purpose. Don't never let that leave your sight. Okay. Right. And number five, servant leaders build hope. I love that. Before they build a team. Say it again, Tammy. <laughs> Say it again, Tammy. Servant leaders build hope. Before they build a team. They build. So while you out here trying to right. get a team, I want to build a team. I want to build. Baby, learn how to build hope. Right. That's what we do. If you build hope, your team will grow automatically. You get people that want to go out there and say, I'm ready to build a team. I'm ready. But you, you start getting all these people together and they do nothing because they have no hope. Right. You didn't show them anything. Right. So let's go around and let's build hope first. Then the team will grow. Right. A, number six, a servant leader is always what? The student. A student. Teach me, Tammy. Yes, always, to the end, to the very end, always a student. Mm. Right. And number seven, a, a servant also must be very thankful. Oh, thank very you. Very thankful. Yes. Y'all, if I can leave y'all, we're going to leave y'all with this. I want to I want to read this scripture. It's 1 Corinthians. You know, we are pastors, so we don't want to throw some in there. But I want to read this scripture, and it talks about love. But I also want to read it, and I want to put leadership uh, in place of where it says love. So it's, it's 1 Corinthians 13, chapter 4 through 7, real quickly. And this it talks about love does not give up. Y'all probably heard that before. But I want to put, I want to put leaders in this place. So if leaders do not give up. Leaders are kind. Leaders are not jealous. Leaders does not puff itself up to being important, right? Leaders don't have pride and leaders does not do the wrong thing. Leaders never think of the... Said and it goes on and on. So I want to let you know, as a servant leader, you know, times are going to get hard. There's going to be some moments where you're not going to feel your best. But I want to tell you, as a servant leader, although we are, we all joined Partner Co. And we're all thinking of different strategies of how to promote products. But the last thing we want to leave you with, we are in the people business. In the people business. Yes. We are in the people business first. Before Noni, Skinny Drops, more, you name all the products. When you get through with all of those, we are in the people business. And if you can't learn to love on people and right. be kind to people, right. then you are not going to be successful in this company. Right. Thank you so much, Miss Christine. We love you, oh, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I am seeing all the faces. I'm seeing the, the chat. I think they, everyone is feeling the same thoughts that I have, which is, whew, I feel so blessed by all of your words tonight and you know uh, i've noticed that you know sometimes when you when you listen to something super inspiring maybe the thing that you need most pops out to you um but the one that besides hope the one that really hit me 
was separate your feelings in, from the assignment. Mm -hmm. I think that is so incredibly powerful. And as you were talking, I was thinking, you know, so often I think in the past I've gotten confused with passion and emotion. And yet what I found is our passion is tied to our why. And that is kind of unchanging. But our emotions, woo, they can change and be all over the place. And so many of the things that you talked about, I'm sure we've all experienced. And so that was huge for me. Separate your feelings from the assignment. Wow. Whew, you guys are incredibly amazing. And, you know, not only are you incredible servant leaders to your teams, I love just watching you guys serve one another and just build each other's leadership up. It is just, it's amazing to watch. You guys, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you, uh, Andrews and Tammy. And the recording for this will be in our leadership group tomorrow. And uh, we'll drop the recording there. You guys, be blessed. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. And I will see you guys next week. Thanks, everybody.